All right. I'm going to read chapter 27 of Marketing is Freedom here. And this is a fun chapter, cross-marketing. And it's something we do a lot of. And it's a very powerful concept. It's done so much. It's so much we don't even recognize it because it happens without us even knowing it's just done so often. Um, when you are marketing and selling multiple products, cross-marketing is an absolute must. It is a natural way to add indirectly or even straight out in addition to the main product introduction. Cross-marketing allows you to reference, plant the seed of awareness about something else you offer. You have their attention and that is already a win. With cross-marketing, you take their attention and feed them with the knowledge and benefits of what else you have to offer them. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to pause for a second and I'm going to read this one this one sentence again. Cross marketing allows you to reference plant the seed of awareness about something else you offer. You literally are placing things and sometimes you don't even need to be loud about it. It's a subtle thing, right? It's just awesome. Okay. If you are not offering additional or complimentary items, you are missing out on the benefits of multiple streams of income. Cross-marketing and blending in additional products, services, or referrals to other products and services is a major missed opportunity that could be detrimental to your income and survival within business. It can be subtle as a reference or suggestion, or it can be a full-on introduction when they are there in your shopping cart or as they are exiting. If you are doing a write-up, adding your crossover items in reference or in combination, Suggestions go a long way, as do images of the items in use together. The ideas of one with the other work. No one likes things halfway or not as good as it could be. We always want more, and we want more of the experience. So be sure to highlight the experience. Cross-marketing provides the flow for upsells, and in some cases, where your true profit margins are created. In the online marketing world, we refer to our upsells as bumps. We must deal with competition and solid cost. When we add in the bumps, we take a loss and turn it into a break even or better. It is the ongoing cross marketing that allows the business to sustain. Without it, we would have no business. This is similar to many business models. The bumps cross marketing of other products and services are what makes the actual business work. The bumps make it work and without it, the profits to run the business do not exist. It is the very fact that created the use of cross-marketing from the beginning of all business directions. Planning for it only creates more profits and more ways to succeed quicker and better overall. It is the small things that matter. In marketing, it is never just one thing that makes it work, but the combination of many things. Multiple ways, multiple understandings, and multiple methods. When done right, it creates the methods for multiple streams of income. And it is the understanding of the Ascension marketing along with other marketing concepts and directions working together that makes it all work best. Some things take a while to kick in, and often it is when you want to stop doing something when it finally starts to work. Marketing is never an instant solution. Again, if it were easy, everyone would do it. If everyone truly knew how it truly worked and the time it really took to get to where it works, they would not quit. Marketing is freedom, and it comes at the price of refusing to quit and to stick to it. Find a way to keep it going and understand the patient process behind it all. Reinvest into marketing, and the future is always being created. This is why an established business with clients, customers, and ongoing sales is worth more. It is already undergoing success, and with marketing programs in place, acquisition is proof of a business concept. Showing that you can gain a customer and build a name and brand is valuable. Cross-marketing is following those same processes, but doing it so smartly to gain maximum exposure to what you are offering to your customer. Sharing and expanding their understanding of what you offer in products, services, and the experience is where cross-marketing occurs. It is using the same energy, expenses of marketing, and customer acquisition to gain exposure to more of what you have to offer. It is also something that becomes easier and easier as you add it into your overall marketing directions. Okay. I'm going to stop that share.
And I'm just going to go a little bit deeper on this. I can tell you in my professional marketing world, if I wasn't cross-marketing, I didn't have the bumps or the things that, that I offered in addition to the main product I was marketing, we wouldn't have survived. The reason I outlasted competition year after year after year is because I successfully put the right bumps in place. Sometimes I would make even more profits off the products I sold as a bump than the main product itself. Sometimes I would lose money on the main product, but make it up. And when I say sometimes, very often, most of the time, you have to be smart. And, and, and you're, com you're competing and, and competition always drives the prices down, the margins smaller. You got to find a way to build the margins up. And I'll tell you, like in what we do in, in the online world, acquiring the eyeballs is everything. And then the longer you keep them around and the more things you have to cross market them, the more chances you have to win. It is that simple.